today on Nat Chats, I want to talk about the perils of property news headlines. Now, yesterday, the papers and news were leading with the headline that the Australian property market could drop by as much as 30% in the months and years ahead. Frightening stuff. It was prompted by a report released by the Commonwealth Bank, which was looking at a range of potential economic scenarios and their possible impact on the Australian property market. Now, I'll be frank, this is the kind of sensationalised headlines and reporting that really gets up my nose because it is just so misleading. The 30% scenario was an absolute worst case scenario and it was based on property prices coming back from their peak in March of this year. Yes, you heard me correctly. That should be your first clue. Perth property prices were not at their peak in March. That would be Sydney and Melbourne. The other thing to note is that the report had a base case scenario, which was the most likely scenario of an 11% fall, not 30%. But of course, 11% doesn't make anywhere near as good a headline as 30. Now, the majority of price and economic predictions that get reported um, about property are highly Eastern States centric, which is really misleading if you're a buyer in Sydney or per sorry, in Perth. Um, Sydney and Melbourne make up 60% of the total value of the Australian property market, a huge extent. So movements in those markets have a significant influence on our national statistics and therefore predictions. Our property market in Australia is not homogeneous. We are not in the same points at the property cycle as states and nor do we move in sync in Perth with other cities and states. We are very much our own market here in WA and we have our own micro markets within that market. Back in 2006, Perth had the highest median house price in Australia. That's right, the highest. We were the least affordable city in the country. Now, very different scenario. We're the lowest and the most affordable with a median house price of 465,000 versus 1.026 million in Sydney. Very different. The dwelling value to income ratio in Perth is 5.2 times, whereas in Melbourne it's 7.8 and in Sydney it's 8.8. That's an extraordinary difference that should help to insulate us in the months ahead. We're also in the position of having our lowest house prices since 2013, which again is in stark contrast to Sydney and Melbourne. It's also interesting to look at the rental market. Perth was the only capital city in April where rents didn't fall. The Sydney and Re Re Melbourne rental markets are in a very different position and expected expected to be much more heavily affected um, due to COVID-19 because of a significant drop off in overseas migration as well as students. None of which will affect Perth to anywhere near the same degree. We've also had much lower levels of new housing activity over recent years, particularly apartments compared to other capital cities. Indeed, there's 23% less homes for rent now on the market than there were 12 months ago and 30% less homes for sale here in Perth. Economically, WA is also in a very different and hopefully much better position than the East Coast, given growth, um, predicted growth in our resources sector and increased interest in the local agricultural sector. We also have much less exposure to the services sector and our local economy and housing sector were also coming off a low and in recovery mode prior to COVID-19. Now there's no doubt that a recession is likely in Australia and globally, but history shows us that the housing market is much less volatile and slower to respond to those kind of market shocks than equities. Coupled with where we're at specifically in the Perth economy and local housing market, and I think you really need to listen and subscribe to those doomsday predictions at your peril. That's just my opinion. My view is you, base, you buy and sell based on where you're at in life, not by predictions. One is real and now, and the other is future and crystal ball gazing. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell in the suburbs surrounding or nearby Beaufort Street, I would love to help. 
call me on 0405812273 or email me at natalie at bellcourtproperty.com.au. Have a great day. Thank you.